I'm going to talk about how to build good habits to achieve what we want. Uh, my name is uh, Helbert Belmiro. Uh, I help professional Java developers design and implement APIs that are easy to evolve and upgrade so they can write maintainable software and stay up to date with technology. I I was working uh, at the Brazilian bank Banrisul until the last month, and I'm in my first days working at Red Hat. Uh, here you can find my, my blog and my Twitter account. Uh, so today uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that everyone can build good habits. Uh, I'm going to show uh, a strategy to, 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 to achieve, uh, to build good habits, with, with, which is based on this book. Stick with it, The Science of Lasting Behavior from Chen Yong. I will show two use cases, uh, two real use cases from, from my, my life. Uh, the takeaways, and I have a challenge for you at the end. Uh, this presentation uh, is not about me, uh, it is about you. Uh, I'm going to talk a lot about me in this presentation, but I'm not here to, sh to show my achievements. Uh, I'm here to show you how I adapted my routine to make it work. Uh, and I'm, I'm here to inspire you to adapt your routine so you can achieve your goals. Uh, the, the things that I did worked for me, and you have to find uh, the ones that, that work for you. So, if you, if you want to write a blog, for example, or, or do presentations or learn a new technology or stay up to date with technology or stay healthy, uh, you can do it. Everyone can do it. Uh, for example, 15 minutes a day uh, can make a huge difference. 15 minutes a day is better than two hours in the weekend, for example. And a little effort every day is easier than a big effort for one day. Uh, because, uh, for example, if you if you gonna uh, spend two hours in the weekend, that might that might be too much time for you to to dedicate. But fifteen minutes a day it's is is very easy. And little effort every day gives you a great result. 15 minutes a day uh, is one, one hour and 45 minutes a week. And in a month, you, have, you would have spent uh, seven hours, seven and a half hours a month. So with just 15 minutes, you can achieve great things. For example, uh, spending just 15 minutes, you could uh, learn a new technology in just two months. Uh, here, I selected uh, three courses from, from Udemy, three Node.js courses. And all of them, are they have less than 15 hours of duration. And they are very good courses. You can see that they are very well, uh, they, they, ha they, have, they, have, they have very high uh, evaluations. So as you can see in two months, dedicating uh, 15 minutes a day, you could learn a new technology. And it's easy to waste 15 minutes a day. It's easy just to, uh, to, 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 to waste, to, to waste uh, doing uh, not important things. Uh, these images I, I took from my smartphone and these are the times uh, that I spent during one week on Instagram, on Facebook, WhatsApp, and this game here. As you can see on Instagram, I spent one hour and 37 minutes a week. On Facebook, I spent 59 minutes. And WhatsApp, on WhatsApp, I've spent 15, 55 minutes. And on Brick Balls Crusher, I spent half an hour. So it's 243 minutes in just one week 
Man, it's over four hours that I wasted in just one week. And, and I do a lot of things. I, I, I do a lot of things. And even, even, even doing a lot of things, I'm, I'm still wasting uh, four hours a week. Of course, we, we have to rest, we have to, to relax. And when, when we relax, we, we, we spend time on social media or playing video games or, or doing, uh, not, uh, doing not useful stuff. So uh, let's say that we want to cut this four hours in the half. So we have two hours. Two hours divided by seven days is 17 minutes a day. So I'm spending 17 minutes a day. Uh, I can I can uh, spend seven, 17 minutes a day to to start a new habit. So uh, I have a, a a strategy for you to to start building your habits. And it's from this book, uh, Stick With It, The Science of Lasting Behavior from Sean Young. And this book presents a strategy that is called SCIENCE. SCIENCE is an acronym to Step Ladders, Community, Important, Easy, Neurohex, Captivating, and Ingrained. Step Ladders uh, is about uh, doing small steps. Uh, a small step is much easier for you to take than a big one. So if you have uh, many things to do, uh, try to, to break all, the all, all those things into, into little things. So it, it will be much easier for, to, for you to take uh, the next step. Community, do it, do it with your friends. Uh, share with them that you are uh, building a new habit. Uh, tell your family, they will help you. They will inspire you. They will give you feedback and this will help you to, to, keep, to keep doing what you have to do. Make it important. Uh, you have to know why Uh, the thing that you are trying to do is important. For example, you are trying to, to build a healthy lifestyle or you need to, 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 get, to make more money to buy a new house or to buy a new car or to travel or you have to learn something new for you to grow your career. So it has to be important for you and you have to... to to find why is it's important and this will motivate you for you to do. It has to be easy. So uh, make the things easy for you. If something is very difficult uh, that is preventing you for, for, for you to do your tasks, uh, make it easy. For example, if you, if you want to run every day, uh, Put your shoes uh, behind your, uh, uh, beside your, your bed so, so it, it's uh, very easy for you to, to put your shoes on. Neurohex, uh, try to trick your brain for you to, to do what you have to do. For example, say to yourself, oh, it, it's just 15 minutes that I have to do that. And that way you, you won't think that it's, that it's very hard for you to do. Make it captivating. Uh, give yourself a reward. Uh, after, you, you did, after, after you do your tasks for that day, uh, give yourself a reward. Eat something delicious, for example. Share with your friends. They will accomplish you for, for, being, uh, for, for your achievements. So make it fun. Uh, for you to do and make it ingrained because at, at, at some time 
uh, after you you did a lot of of your of your tasks every day it it becomes automatically it becomes easier for you to do because you created a routine and and it becomes ingrained so this was the this is the science strategy and now i have uh, the first use case for you to for you to to see how I, I used uh, this strategy. I was, uh, I needed to, to study, to share content, to, to do open source software, to, to improve my career, but it was not working for me. I was trying to do all those things after my job and after my job, I was always tired. Uh, people are uh, were awake in the in the house and making noise and creating distractions. And because people were awake, I wanted to stay with them. They are my family. I want to if they are there. I want to to stay with them. And at, in the end of the day, sometimes you have to go shopping or resolve ordinary problems, uh, wash the dishes, or take your dog to, to walk or anything like that. And at this time, I was always hungry. And that was also preventing me from, from doing uh, my tasks of studying, sharing knowledge, and doing open source software. So I adapted it. I started doing early in the morning before my job and early in the morning, I'm not tired. Uh, people are still sleeping. So it's silence, it's, it's silent. Uh, I'm the only one uh, awake in the house. So there's no one to, to distract me. My pro productivity is maximum because I'm not tired. I'm, I have all the, my energy to, to do my tasks. And I don't have anything important to do at this time, like going shopping or do ordinary stuff. So how does uh, science, how I use it science to, 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 to improve my, my, my habit. For, I, I may, I, I knew that it was important. I need I need to do it because it, uh, it will make me make me grow my career. Uh, it's easy, like I'm doing now, because I do I do before my work when I'm not tired yet, and I'm the only one awake in the house, so nobody's distracting me. It's captivating because now I. I feel good when I do it, and I know that I'm I'm doing what I I should do, and it's ingrained because I do every business day, and on weekends I usually do, but there's no set time to do it. Uh, the second the second use case is sharing content for a hundred days. I, I had a problem with sharing content that I was, uh, as, as I said in the beginning of the presentation, I have a blog and I was taking too much time to, to share knowledge in my blog. I was spending too much time improving the content and nobody, sees what I share. If nobody sees, nobody asks questions. If nobody asks questions, I don't know what else to share because nobody asks anything. And if I don't know what to share, I take too much time to share again. And if I take too much time to share, nobody sees it and it repeats and it creates a loop that uh, nothing, nothing happens. So I knew that I 
needed to start sharing a lot of content. And the inspiration came from Bruno Souza, the Java man. He was talking about Big Brother, the, the TV show. And he told us that Big Brother was a, a hundred days of crap with a few cool stuff in the middle. And the TV get this cool stuff and show to the audience. And the TV show is a huge success. So we don't know what people want or what people like. So we have to, to produce a lot of content. I knew that uh, producing a lot of content I would improve by repetition. I would increase the chances of sharing so, of share something viral. And the social media algorithms would deliver more my content. Okay, I want to share for 100 days every single day. But how? I created uh, this initiative called that I called 100 Days of Java for me to share content for 100 days. So I, need, I knew that it is, is important because I need to get it to get visibility. These step ladders, one day at a time until I have a lot of content. Uh, I made it easy and how it can be done easily. I, it needs to be short, otherwise I won't be able to do it for 100 days without interruption. Community, I'll do in my social media. It will be fun to see the engagement and answer questions, so it's captivating. I promised that I would share for 100 days, so I have to do it. And this is a neuro hack. I know, I know that now I have to do it. And now it becomes uh, even more important because I can't break the promise. I gave my word, so I can't break it. Whatever it, it happens, I have to, to share for 100 days. Now I'm committed with the community. And it becomes ingrained because I do every single day. It's easy. It be after some times, it becomes easier. Uh, I started doing after my work. So I'm already in front of my computer and I, and I don't even need to get up from my chair. People start asking questions and, and this gives me more ideas. So I have the community uh, engaged with my initiative. I keep those ideas for the future so I can use them on days when I'm low on creativity and have little time. So I'm making it even more easy. Uh, I will, at, after some time, I was invited to give a talk in a company. Uh, actually, this was my first talk, so it was very captivating, and that was few to, to keep sharing because that means that I uh, a good job. I told my friends that I gave uh, this talk, and one of them invited me to present the same talk to his jug. And the number of followers on social media uh, tripled, so it's captivating. And after some time, it's, it gets easier uh, to keep sharing. I created a template to make the whole process faster, so it becomes even easier. Other people got inspired and started doing the same as me. So I'm, th I'm thinking I'm doing a good job. I have the, and now I have the community uh, in, in more involved. And finally, I could achieve the, the, the last day and it was very satisfying. I, I, I did what I, I had proposed to do and 
this gave me a lot of of uh, opportunities and i built all of this just using uh, the science strategy and i adapted it uh, like i'm i'm showing you here so the the takeaways uh, that i wanted to to take from this is adapt science adapt science to your routine make it easy for you make doing easier than not doing so make it important do it do it when it, it's easier for you to do enjoy it make it fun do what you like start small i see uh, many people start with big things and eventually they stop doing because they are, they are trying to do so much that it's it's much difficult for them so start small start today don't wait for the perfect time because uh, the perf the perfect time never never you never reach the perfect time there there's always an excuse for you not to do so start today and enhance the process during the journey and share what you're doing with your friends people will get inspired and they will help you to to keep doing but be careful uh, don't promise what you can deliver know how to use the promise to help you uh, because promise a hundred days of whatever uh, might be dangerous it worked to me because i knew that the commitment would help me it would force me but if you're not sure that it would help you i i, I don't recommend that you do that because if you fail you feel frustrated o on the other hand not making promises might not make it important to you so know yourself and 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 try to find what works for you i suggest you to experiment without promises and and they and then make easy promises for example a week of something or once a week of something for a whole month or for two months and know yourself and and do what works for you and to finish i have a a challenge so there there's a, a lot of a lot of uh, apps that helps you to build good habits so uh, download a habit a habit tracker app i i put here three apps uh, every day uh, don and confetti but you can you can use the any any app and cho choose a habit to build something easy to start like reading reading a book or writing a blog coding you choose and do it for five minutes every day if five minutes is, is too much for you you can use other things one minute five words five sentences whatever you feel comfortable and not afraid to commit to do every day and every day that you complete your five minutes put in the app and don't break the chain try to to create a chain of many days uh, consecutive days so you will have uh, one more reason to keep doing and this reason is not break the chain so the five minutes a day challenge is it fits on on science is step ladders is one day at a time until we have built a new habit it has to be important and you'll know why it is important it's your habit it's easy it's just five minutes five minutes is too much do four minutes three minutes one minute doing every day 
is more important than the how much you do. Try to do every day, at least a little. Uh, use an app to, to help you. If you find out that something is making it difficult, eliminate it. For example, read, for me, reading physical books is difficult. So I bought a Kindle and now I can read books with, uh, with, with much easy. Neurohacks, say to yourself, oh, it's just five minutes. I can do it today. If I don't do it, say to yourself, if I don't do it, uh, I'll break my chain of, for example, uh, 22 uninterrupted days. So let's do it for not to, to break the chain. If I don't do today, tomorrow, I probably won't do it again because I don't have the chain anymore. So let's do it. Let's not break the chain. It's captivating. Yeah, celebrate that, you, that you've done for 23 days without interruption. You will you have a new badge in the app. Make it make it fun for you to for you to keep doing. And ingrain it. Do it every single day. Try not uh, not uh, fail. Never try to to do every single day at least one minute, but do it. So that's it. Uh, I showed, I showed you that everyone can build good habits. Uh, I show you uh, the science strategy, the two use cases, the takeaways, and the challenge. So if you want to help, I'll be, I'll be glad to help you with that. You can, you can reach me on my social media. Here is the, is there, is the address. And feel free to, to reach me and it will be great to, to help you with that.